Hey guys, it's Chris and Alex with After Five Outdoors, and it's that time of year again. Season two. Season two. So Alex, what are you looking forward to for this bear season? Honestly, everything. I love bear hunting. Dude, it's a lot of fun. Really excited this year. We got some curveballs that have been coming at us with the weather. Oh. What have things been like this year? Well, lately it's been 100 degrees. <laughs> the beginning of bear season, we're at 99 degrees outside and very little rain. So I think the key to this season is gonna be looking for water. Water's gonna be a big thing. So. We're in a severe drought. Crops are not doing too well around where we're at. Those no. bears are gonna be out looking for food as long as we're close to water. And looking for somewhere to stay cool too. Absolutely, absolutely. I think that'll affect the first, until it cools down. So we're looking for thick cover, moisture, water. and food. So we did go with the candy trail mix again. Uh, the mixture was a little different this year though. So we've got uh, what seems to be some, some chocolate dots. It looks like lemon heads yeah. in there. So we got some nuts and kettle corn, chocolate graham crackers. I don't know what these red things are. Uh, I think they're like a cinnamon candy it looks like. Why don't you try one? Yeah. Now, <laughs> he's gonna pass this year. Uh, but it's still a good mixture and it smells absolutely amazing. The other thing we discovered last year as we got towards the, the end of season, I was talking to some more buddies of mine that, that bear bait and they use an additive to their oil that makes it smell like butterscotch. Literally two capfuls makes an entire uh, tote of fry grease smell like butterscotch it's crazy yeah it makes you want to drink it it makes you want to drink it even though it's used nasty <laughs> fry grease and we've got some pastries that we're going to be throwing out yep and got some just frosting this year some too. frosting some buttercream frosting and sunflower seeds we got a 2500 pound tote of our candy trail mix we're and we're good to go man we are we got a uh, freezer and a half full of pastries and we're good it's going to be an awesome season so Alex, this year, how are you gonna be hunting your bear? I guess my plan is, I was thinking shotgun with a slug. I've never never seen anybody do it. I've heard of some people going slug gun hunting for bears. Yeah, something different. I have a 20 gauge with a slug barrel, so. Me, I'm gonna go archery again. I feel like I need to do a little bit of redemption for my shot last year. I'm looking forward to getting out with a bow and getting in a tree again. Hopefully get find something around some of our baits where we can get into a saddle. Definitely looking forward to archery. And then talking to Cody, he is going with his revolver again, right? Yeah, I think he wants to go from the ground. Yeah. I'm really excited to see, see how things are moving whether we can get some of those big bears coming in from last season. Yeah, it'd be nice to see that chocolate again. Yeah, or the that blaze in the front, Mr. V-neck. Mr. V-neck, yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice to see him come back in too. Yeah. Stay tuned, we'll get some baits out, and we'll see how this season rolls. So guys, we found our way out here into the brush, and this is a really thick spot. I like it. It's got berries, it's got cover. The bears are gonna love it back here. There's also water that's close by. The problem that we're looking at is the prevailing winds, and where are we gonna clear out a spot to put a bait? This is why we bait in Minnesota, because I can't see 10 feet in front of me in this sort of cover, and this is where the bears are gonna be. So Alex, what's our game plan here? We got a tree picked out over here for the bait, and there's plenty of mature trees here, so we can almost hunt from any direction if we need to, wind-wise, uh, especially you with the saddle. Um, we got fields to the east and south of here, so I mean, yeah, I mean, we got a heavy game trail right here, so I think this is a good spot. I think this is gonna be a good area. So we're gonna get to cutting down some brush, and we'll get her set up. Mm -hmm. 